Confession time. One of my favorite things to do this time of year is to stock car blogs and magazines and check out all the latest changes and models. And then I like to mentally purchase like five or 10 of them. <laughs> if you're still paying off your current car, but something new and shiny has caught your eye, you do have some options. Let's talk about how to trade in your car when you still owe money on it. Hey, welcome back to Nerd Wallet. Before we get into it, you should know that in general, cars have been more expensive the past couple of years due to some supply chain issues. As of July of this year, the average price of a new vehicle was up 11.9% from July of 2021. That said, if you do wanna trade in your car while you still owe money on it, the dealer will subtract the value of your old car from the price of the new car. The dealer will take over the loan on the old vehicle and you'll only be on the hook for the new vehicle price less the amount of your trade-in value. When talking about trading in a vehicle that you still owe money on, we're looking at one of two scenarios. You either one, have positive equity, meaning you owe less than your car is worth, or two, you have negative equity and your car is worth less than what you owe. Obviously, the first scenario is a little easier to tackle because the positive equity means you will have extra money to put towards your new vehicle. If you have negative equity, you'll have to pay the difference between the loan balance and the trade-in value. Now, before you start picturing yourself driving through the countryside with your windows down and the music up, your first step needs to be contacting your current lender and figuring out exactly what you owe. You really need to make an informed decision before you purchase something new. And understanding your payoff amount will help. The payoff amount your lender provides will usually be slightly higher than the remaining balance you see on your billing statement. Once you know the payoff amount, pop over to an online pricing guide like Kelly Blue Book or Edmunds to determine your vehicle's trade-in value. Subtract the payoff amount from your vehicle's trade-in value to get an idea of whether you have positive or negative equity. You can also get trade-in values from online car buyers like Carvana. Just know that trade-in values can be negotiated at dealerships, but not with most online car retailers. If you have positive equity, you're in great shape for getting the new car. Let's break down what this could look like. Say you owe $3,000 on your car and it's worth $5,000 if you were to trade it in. This would mean you have $2,000 of positive equity that you could apply to the purchase of your next car. Keep in mind that you will still need to provide either cash or financing for the remaining balance of the new car's purchase price. The value of the trade-in will be listed on the contract and should reflect the price you negotiated. And just like with any other car purchase, you can still make a down payment to reduce the overall balance of the new car loan. A quick pro tip, get the best price possible for your trade-in and the new vehicle by negotiating them separately. Do your research and come to negotiations armed with knowledge gained from the online guides I mentioned earlier. Now, if you have negative equity, also known as being upside down on your loan, it really is ideal to postpone your new car purchase. Try to either pay off that loan or at least pay it enough that you have positive equity. But if your current payments are really high and you're struggling to pay off the vehicle, downsizing to a less expensive car or even an inexpensive used car could provide some relief. If this is the case, you'll need to give the dealer your trade-in plus the amount of negative equity owed on the loan. Let me break it down a little with an example. Let's say you owe $5,000 and your car is worth $3,000. The trade-in credit would cover most of the loan and you would pay the dealer the $2,000 difference. Make sense? Your dealer will likely suggest that you just roll that negative equity into your new loan, which I know sounds tempting, but this is actually gonna mean that you're gonna be immediately upside down on your new loan and you'd be creating a larger loan for yourself and would likely result in paying more interest. So unless you're really in a pinch and don't have the funds to pay off that negative equity, it's best to avoid rolling the balance into the new loan. The actual steps of trading in the car once you've done your research is actually pretty simple. You'll just need to bring the following items to the dealership. First, you'll need your car loan information. This should include the payoff amount along with the account number. You'll need your vehicle registration and proof of insurance. You'll need all the keys and remotes for the vehicle. You'll need a printout of your current vehicle's trade-in value. And of course, you'll need your driver's license. Once you've negotiated the deal, review the contract carefully and pay extra attention to cost amounts to ensure the prices listed match the prices you negotiated. 
Double check all the numbers with your own calculator before you sign. A few weeks after you've completed the deal, the lender should send you documentation in the mail confirming that your loan from the vehicle that you traded in has been settled. The most important thing to keep in mind, regardless of if you have positive or negative equity, is that you, you should be the one controlling the transaction, not the dealer. That means you have to have a good handle on your vehicle's trade-in value and what you're willing to pay for the new vehicle. If the dealer just insists on offering you less than you know the vehicle is valued at, you may wanna look at just selling the car privately instead. And if you're setting up a new loan, try not to extend the loan term for more than 60 months if you're buying a new car or more than 36 months if you're buying used. Ultimately, we all like the idea of a shiny new car in the driveway, but remember that a new car is a big financial undertaking. Avoid making the decision strictly based on emotion and really crunch the numbers to decide if trading in now makes smart financial sense for you, or if it would be better to wait until your current loan is paid off. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see all kinds of cool future videos from us, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye!